Helen, uh, we have through the season and it means that the T20 season is starting for us uh, this weekend. How do you feel ahead of that? Um, I think we're all feeling really well going into the T20 season. Um, personally, I'm really looking forward to it because it's the exciting cricket when we're playing T20 cricket. So I feel like it's going to be good fun and it'll be a good chance for the girls um, in the games coming up as well. Um, we generally do much better in this format than the 50 over um, in the 50 overs. Do you think that will be the case this year? Yeah, definitely. We'll be strong in this league. We'll hopefully middle to top table, I would assume, because the squad we have is a very strong squad. And going into the T20s, we have so many good players that we can bring in and utilise in this competition. Uh, why do you think we do so much better in the T20s? Is it the style we play or the players we've got? Um, I think it's the style we play as well. We're very positive going into T20s all the time. Um, we have some big hitters in our team and they really excel in the T20 format so it's really good for us coming um, in the T20s with the players that we have in the side. Uh, you know, so far you've been playing every weekend. I know it's a really, really busy schedule for the team. Uh, it's been 50 overs every weekend now but you are quickly changing to the T20s. Is this a really difficult transition to make and how are you going to make sure that we're going to do it so that we're successful? Um, I don't think it's going to be a massive transition because we've been playing positive cricket in our 50 over format so it's just got taking all the positive cricket we've been using without with the bat and just uh, pushing it on a little bit further being positive not reckless and making sure like we do all the batting right that we've been doing making sure we rotate the strike when we need to and hit the boundaries that you need in T20 format playing two teams uh, this weekend that we've already played, uh, Worcestershire and uh, Devon. What do you expect of those games? Um, going into them games, we know they've got a good few players that excel in T20 format, but with our side, their two games we should definitely win. Um, Worcester, we beat them before, Devon we had a close game with as well. So going into them two games, we should be backing ourselves to bring out some wins there this weekend. Um, is there a particular approach, it's two away games, is there a particular approach that you'll be taking? Would you be batting first, bowling first if you had the choice? Um, I do like to bowl first in T20 so you know what you're chasing down, so you know how to play um, the game when you're in the when you're batting. However, it's going to depend on the conditions when we get there as well. So we'll just see how the wicket is, etc. But um, hopefully, we'll just play some good cricket when we're down there. Um, and um, if we, if that was eight week, um, at four weeks down the line, and we now have played the eight games, what would you say a great season would be for the team? Um, a great season with the T20 format would be winning at least five of them games, I would say. Um, maybe more, depending on what sides we come up against, like whether they have their key players still or whether they're away or not. But we know we can win games in the T20 format because we play some good positive cricket and we can take a lot of positives from the 50 over and transfer that over to the T20 format, which is going to help us a lot. And we know we've got the skills to be able to bowl sides out and chase down totals, so we should do well. Thank you very much.